Battletech Tactics, how to use infantry. We're continuing this Battletech Vlog series looking at the different elements, the different units of the game, and not diving into a specific mech or a specific tank, but looking at this idea of a template, understanding overall on the hex map, here's what we want to keep in mind with these units, with these models. And then as we look through the tech manual and get into specific mech tactica, many of those I've pushed up to the Battletech playlist here on my channel, you have a starting point. You have a way to know, how do I use this machine, this tank, this mech, this vehicle, and then layer it over with the specific characteristics of that unit. Well, in this vlog, we're going to be jumping into infantry. And one of the great things about Battletech is the game scales. You can play mechs versus mechs. You could add in tanks. You could add in infantry. You could, and it's hard. I've done this, but it's very hard because there's not enough battle value. I love mechs. I want to get lots of mechs on the table, but I love tanks. I love infantry. I've played Battletech games where I just have infantry and tank support, right? Just no mechs going up against the elite mech warriors for tabletop glory and just trashing their machines. The thing with infantry is there's a couple of questions that you need to answer to really make these units work. And this idea of battle value, we're talking battle value, but it could be sea bills, it could be tonnage, it could be campaign points, some sort of currency to select your units. And a recurring theme in Battletech, not just in Battletech, but every war game, are you out there earning? Are you earning the battle value? Are you spending it? And it is decreasing your opponent's battle value every turn. If you've got those two longbows sitting in the back and there's no target, that's that's a K plus of battle value just doing nothing. But if I'm firing every turn, stripping off armor, blowing off arms, taking away weapons, I am decreasing your battle value. I'm earning that battle value. So the challenge with infantry, if you look at the buy-in, it's, it's really not much. A couple of hundred battle value. 500 battle value can get you a, just a, a crazy amount of infantry, six, 700 crazy amount of infantry flooding the table. And if we look at one infantry stand, the chance for tabletop glory, if it doesn't work out, if it gets destroyed, well, what have we really lost? You know, it's the equivalent of what, like a medium laser in terms of battle value on the table. The challenge with this is infantry more than anything else when used correctly, can earn two or three or four times its battle value. And I'm not saying it's easy, but infantry has the potential for such a low battle value to destroy not only um, numerous times above its battle value, but tie up units, shut off parts of the table or the hex map or your gaming area that other units can't just because to do that with mechs would cost too much. That's what we want to get on the table, in addition to initiative. Now, I play Battletech, rules as written, raw. I understand house rules. I sit down at your table. We can play house rules. Some people house rule infantry moving on their own phase because otherwise you flood the table with initiative. You're always – you're going to move your – you're going to move your initiative pieces first with the infantry – or not at all, if they're standing in place, your opponent will move everything else. Doesn't matter if I win or lose initiative. And then, of course, I'll move my mechs to be in a superior potential position. So putting that aside, because that is a valid tactica, let's look at some of the considerations with infantry. Maneuverability and positioning. You need to dominate the table with them. How are you going to do that? I mean, imagine this, imagine this scenario. And I know I'm kind of wish listing here, but it, it has happened. Attacker versus defender. You're in city fight, city tech. You've got to go down this long, long alleyway. You've got to go down this, this long street, buildings on either side, just regular buildings, not hardened, maybe level two, level three. And at the end is your objective. It could be something you have to achieve or it's the perfect outflank for the rest of the forces. I've got those buildings packed with infantry, SRM infantry, maybe some field guns hidden in there. You're going to walk down that alleyway. 
If you send a light mech down that alleyway, it's going to get smoked. It's going to get destroyed. If you send a medium, I'm going to cripple it. I'm going to hurt it. Because remember, the infantry firing as you walk by, you can't stand still because I'm going to be hitting you. As you walk by, I'm going to be getting rear armor. I'm going to be hitting you with five, six, ten infantry stands. On top of that, if you send in a heavy, yeah, you'll wade through that. You'll shrug it off, but you're going to come out a little bit singed. All for low, minimal battle value. And if you hesitate, if you try to deal with it, if you try to dig my infantry out, Okay, great. I'll be damaging you. You'll win eventually because they're just infantry. But now you've wasted what? Two, three, four game turns? Infantry dig out infantry with infantry. Mechs should never. I know they've got machine guns. I know you've got flamers. You've got ways to collapse buildings. But I really want to hunt infantry with infantry. I don't want to get tied up with them. Many Battletech players uh, will try to do that. So within that overall tactic, uh, positioning is key. How are you getting there? So it's infantry plus something. Now, what that something is going to be, if it's attacker versus defender and you're defending and you're deploying out, yeah, I'll take five to ten stands of infantry, sprinkle them around, uh, kind of a ring of LRM in the back, SRM in the front. Okay. But for the most part, Battletech is a game of maneuverability. And if you're doing combined arms, then... You need the infantry to be able to keep up and maneuver with the mechs. I mean, at some point, they're going to get out and take something or attack, but you need mobility. So the question with mobility is four choices, three main choices, one sub-choice. You could go mechanized. That's kind of the easiest, but the challenge with mechanized, it's a little bit more battle value and you decrease the size. We potentially want the biggest size. Now, some transport options might limit size. I'll leave that for you to calculate in the tech manuals. But going jump infantry is the easiest way. But even jump infantry, one versus three hexes, is not necessarily that fast. The best mech up, first choice, APCs. Just low battle value, metal boxes, move them up. Vehicles that have good maneuverability, don't really need much armor. I mean, they could absorb a shot or two. And maybe they have some machine guns for support. That's the first potential buy-in, lowest battle value. Second buy-in is now where you turn the vehicle into a fighting force. Perfect example would be the Goblin. Complements infantry very well. But I'm not saying it's not worth the battle value, but it is pricey. The Goblin is essentially an armored battle tank that can carry infantry. You've got a large laser on there. You've got a machine gun. You've got a turret. It drops off the infantry, and hangs around to fight the mechs or, or add some serious firepower. Something like that, um, getting less infantry on the table and spending it on the goblins, that's kind of a midway point. But that's a big battle value buy-in. The other option is to go air. Warriors, Karnovs, well, warriors guarding Karnovs, Karnov transports. I'm essentially pulling, um, hot dropping them in, right? Load them up. Fly in, fly out. That's an option too. But you're going to have to invest not only miniature-wise, but some sort of delivery system to get the most out of your infantry. That's I, I consider that a tax. That's like the infantry tax. I don't need to pay it if I'm pure defender. But in an, an attacker or an attacker-attacker scenario, you need that mobility. Once you figure out that mobility, and, and it's different options depending on your battle value, depending on your game, depending on what you're feeling on. Um, Miniature-wise, you could just do you know four APCs, two goblins, one Karnov, or two Karnovs to get started. A couple of different infantry stands, and there you go, loading in. But the big thing on how to use infantry, being at the right place at the right time, you need mobility. What? What is your delivery system?